hopefully this is actually a short and sweet open session uh, with regards to this particular meeting. And I just want to let everyone know up front that unlike last week's meeting, there really is not going to be a public input section. Reason being is I think we have a very short and concise uh, agenda and hopefully we can get some forward motion on this particular uh, issue. So what I'll do to, to kick it off is uh, last week I was notified by another select board member that there was some additional flexibility, uh, potential at least, with regards to negotiations with Chief Fox. And as such, I called this evening's meeting so that we could in fact discuss that and potentially even enter into a motion to reconsider the previous, uh, the previous uh, vote, which was not to enter into negotiations. So at this point, I will entertain a motion. Mr. Chairman, I move to reconsider Chief Fox's contract. Second. Okay, motion having been made and seconded. Questions, comments, debate? Hearing none, all in favor of renego or reconsidering the previous motion to not enter into contract negotiations with Chief Fox, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Nay. Let the motion, let the record show motion passes. Three in favor, one against, with Mr. Barry opposed. Okay, at this point, just from a procedural matter, now that the board is going to reconsider, now we're going to enter into a more private discussion, which is really to strategize with regards to contract negotiations with Chief Fox. As such, we would have to enter into executive session. Um, Mr. Elsie? Uh, Mr. Chairman, I move that uh, following the conclusion of this meeting, we go into executive session pursuant to Massachusetts General Law, Chapter 30A, Section 21, Subsection 2. This meeting uh, not reconvening at the close of that meeting. Okay, motion been made. Do I hear a second? Second. Motion made and seconded. Then by roll call vote, Mr. Archibald? Yes. Mr. Elstead? Yes. Mr. Berry? No. And the chair votes yes. Motion passes three in favor, one opposed. Mr. Barry in opposition. What that now means is the open portion of this particular meeting is now closed. And what our next steps will be is the four of us will now enter into the back room and enter into private discussions about the strategization for entering into a contract with Chief Fox. And it is certainly my hope and my sincere pleasure would be at the end of this evening to be able to at least offer a contract to, to Chief Fox. Whether or not he accepts that, of course, is the whole give and take of negotiations. But at least at that point, obviously, the process will have begun. So I thank you all for, for coming. And hopefully, we'll have some positive uh, forward movement on this issue. Thank you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, she's just uh, so far made that vote there, three to one. What are your thoughts on that? Well, I, I, I'm glad that the board of selectmen members are all professional, and I, I think uh, with the amount of public support I had, that they reconsidered. That's a, that's a glimmer of hope for me. I mean, um, after what, what occurred last week in the 3-2 vote, my kind of, uh, uh, you know, my position here was a little bit check. And uh, now that they've reconsidered it, um, there's a glimmer of hope that we can come to some type of agreement. Uh, again, I like, spent my entire career here, um, and I base my uh, reputation on professional and, and my accomplishments. And uh, I still don't know really what their reasoning is to begin with not to renew me. Um, and I hope uh, somebody will tell me eventually. There's a lot of rumors out there, but they're all based on rumors, and I can tell the community I've done nothing criminally wrong, I've done nothing civilly wrong. Um, I'm just waiting to hear. So I'm hoping they'll come to a, a, a contract that's both beneficial for me and my family, as well as the, the community, which the community deserves it. I want to see all these people here who come out to my my aid um, at a time of you know need on the part of the police department. It just shows that uh, um, the police department or the community respects the police department. Hopefully, respects me and what we've accomplished. And we've got a lot of things to do. We have a lot of things that are on the plate to work on. I only hope I get the opportunities. What do you think the motivation was for the reconsideration? Last week, they gave you no shot 
and you know a few days and, and, we, and we're here. Well I, I think I think when the community speaks in volumes about supporting your police chief I don't know if that happens in every community I'm, I guess I'm kind of uh, in a very special place uh, when the community comes to your aid like this uh, and when that happens I think uh, uh, selectmen are put in a position through election to look out for the outlook of the people and I think the people have expressed uh, um, their, their gratitude for the police department, what I have done, and I, again, I have done nothing wrong. There's nothing that would tend to say that I don't deserve a contract. Uh, are, are there any terms of the contract that uh, you're specifically looking for? I'm not going to comment on that. I don't know where the board's coming in with their for things. I mean, um, I, I'm not going to comment on anything at this point in time about that. And so how does it feel with all this outpouring of support? There were, they had a petition going around, right? And so how does it feel? Well, it feels like, like I said, is uh, you work for the people, and, and uh, when the people appreciate what you do, I mean, like I said, my last year's, uh, or last week's meeting, I'm sorry, um, I can't make everyone happy. Um, I don't know a police department in the country or the world that can make every single citizen of a population happy. But when you have a large majority of this population here saying you're doing a good job, I mean, that, that makes you feel good. It makes you feel like you're making a difference in your, uh, your profession and, and the community itself. At this point, is your confidence up? I mean, I mean, oh, is my confidence up? Yeah. Yes, I believe my confidence is up. I also believe that the police department and the officers in the police department are going to have a confidence up. For, for the last week, they've been kind of in the kind of a limbo phase of where the police chief is going. And, uh, again, I have the union support. I have had the union support. Again, I've done nothing wrong criminally or civilly, anything of that magnitude. And my performance has spoken for itself in the past the past eight years, what we've accomplished, which the board has, and was presented to them several months ago when the contract negotiation started. And uh, I just would like to know if there's something that they're concerned about, put it on the table so we can fix it. Very good. Thanks, Thank Chief. Good Thanks. luck. Thanks. Yeah, what's the word on the street regarding your uh, petitions? How, uh, is everybody that you approach signing it? Uh, we've got overwhelming support. Uh, there are some people that are hesitant to sign the petition, but they're in support of this issue. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but again, we need 500 signatures, and I, I think we're we're well over double that at this point. And you said last, and you pulled these papers last Friday, correct? Yeah, Thursday afternoon is when I received them. Uh, we handed them out Thursday night, and people started collecting them on Friday. So we had Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and as you can see, we got a pretty good response here with all our, and there's still more out there that we need to collect. And uh, now you said last last week that if if they do in fact offer him a contract and every, and he stays with the police department, you would. Uh, cease your pursuit of the recall. Is that still? Does that still stand? Well, what we want to say is, is that we support our chief. We support our police department. Uh, again, we think backroom politics should be staying out of this. Public safety should be the number one focus of our selectmen. And so, um, we're going to move forward with this process. It's a short process. Uh, should and when a situation arises where the chief has extended a contract, we'll sit down and discuss it at that time. All right. Great. Thank you very much, Paul. Thanks.